Hi, snare drummers, welcome back. In today's video, we're doing our Alfred book, solo number seven. This solo is in two four time and is reviewing many of our eighth and 16th note patterns from the previous pages. It's marked at a tempo of quarter note equals 108 beats per minute. For today's video, however, I'm gonna take it a little bit slower at 90 beats per minute. Let's get started and jump into this piece. This uh, first four measures of the solo is an introduction, and we're gonna start there with a nice short section of four measures. Here we go. One, two, one, two, first four, go. One E and a two, and one E, a two, one E, a two, and one, and a. Let's do that again. Four measures. One and two, and here we go. One E and a two, and one E a two, one E a two, and one, and a. Now, starting in measure five is a repeated section with a first ending. We'll play from measure five into the third line to the end of the first ending and stop. Here we go. Measure five, ready, set, Begin. One and two and one e and a two and a one and a two and one a two e and a one and a two and one a two e and a one a two e and a one and two and a one and two and one e and a two and a one and a two and one a two e and a one e and two a one and two and a one e and a two e and a one and two and a. From here, we would go back to measure five, we would play all that again, and then take the second ending. Let's pick it up with the second ending, and we're gonna start at the second ending, and we're gonna play until we get to the next line in the middle, where we see the DS sign. We're ending with a rim shot, so make sure you shot that rim for your last note. Here we go, second ending. One and two and second ending go. One and two and then two. Oh, let's do that again. Second ending. One, two, ready and go. One and two. E and two. E and two. E and E and E and two. E and two. E and two. E and two. E a one. Two. So there's our that section right there. Maybe we can play it one more time because it was a little tricky. We made a little mistake in there. Second ending. And one, two, second ending, go. One and two. E and two. E and two. E and, E and, E and two. E and two. E and two. E and one, e, a one, two. Next up is the section that ha that comes next. You see that DS sign? Let's remember that's there because we'll be coming back to that in our solo later on. So the next section starts with a repeat sign and it goes through that line, which is line four, all the way through the next line, line five. And that repeat section is what we're going to play right now. We'll only play it one time. Here we go, right at the DS sign. One E and a two, ready, Go, one E and a two, a one E and a two, a one E and a two, a one and two E. One E and a two, a one E and a two, a one and two E and a one. E a two, E a two, E a two, one and two E. E a two, E a two, one E and two E and one E. And then we would go back and repeat that section again. But we're gonna move on to the trio. The trio starts in line number six, and it has the word trio right on the left-hand side so you can clearly see it. This section has a lot of measure repeats, and sometimes in those measure repeats, the composers or the writers will put numbers so that you remember just how many times you've repeated so far. It's a way of keeping track of how many times you repeat. We'll start at the trio, and we're gonna play all the way down in the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, all the way down to the very last line, and we will stop at the end of the first ending. You got it? Here we go. Trio to the end of the first ending. One, two, trio, go. 
one e a two e a 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 one and two one and two and one and two and one e and two e and one and the two one and two and one and two and one e and two and the one e and the two and 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 the two and 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 the two and 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 the two and and the and the one e and the two one e and two one e and two one e and two one e and the two one e and two one e and first ending one e and a two and one and a now don't let some of these sixteenth note rhythms confuse you for instance in the line underneath the trio or in line number three from the bottom they're simply just eighth notes one and two and one and two and I know it looks different because there's a 16th note, 16th rest, 16th note, 16th rest, but think about that, that rhythm, 16th note, 16th rest, 16th note, 16th rest, that's equivalent to 8th note, 8th note. So be careful of those little things. Like I said on our last video, sometimes they're written more complicated here in our method book and will be written much simpler in a piece of drumming literature or in a band song. So next, we would go back to the trio and play the second ending. When we get to the end of the second ending, it says dies al fine. That, remember, means go back to the sign and play to the fine, which is what I'd like to do right now. Find the sign in line number four and find the fine in line number five. And let's play from dies, sign, to fine. <clears throat> One. Two, one, two, D, S, and go. One E and a two, a one E and a two, a one E and a two, a one and two E. One E and a two, a one E and a two, a one and two E and a one. E a two, E a two, E a two, one and two E. E a two, E a two, one E and two E and one E. And that's the fine. So now, if you can, Pause this video, get your metronome, and see how much of solo number seven you can do straight through. We set our tempo today at 90, but if you have mastered some of this, try increasing the tempo. See if you can get it up to the recommendation of 108 beats per minute. So until I see you next time, keep drumming.